Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to explain what the harder guest generation option does and how it makes scenarios more difficult, as requested by TechTastis. Before I start this video I want to announce that I have my own Discord server now called Marcel's Hangout. If you want to talk to me and other like-minded people about Rollercoast Tycoon, music or whatever else you want, feel free to join. The link is at the top of the description. When you make a scenario, there are a couple of restrictions that you can enable to make the scenario more difficult. One of these restrictions is the harder guest generation, which, surprisingly enough, makes it harder to attract guests in certain ways. Although in other areas it also makes it easier, but we'll get to that later. The first thing that we need to know is what the soft guest cap is and how it works. I have talked about this before in some scenario tutorials and if you have watched those, you know that it is very important to keep this soft guest cap high enough. Basically, the soft guest cap is a certain number and if the number of your guests in your park is higher than the soft guest cap, the generation of new guests slows down by a factor of 4 or by 75%. Every ride in your park contributes to the soft guest cap, but they don't all contribute the same. Most flat rides contribute between 20 and 50, most smaller tracked rides contribute between 50 and 80, and most larger coaster types contribute between 80 and 120. Some examples are a mini golf contributes 23, an elevator contributes 45, a side friction coaster contributes 65, a stand-up coaster contributes 90, and the Giga coaster contributes 120, which is the highest of any ride. I have linked the full list in the description. Let's do an example with an actual park. I have built a small park in Forest Frontiers and I have a drink stall, a merry-go-round, a pirate ship, a junior coaster and a wooden coaster, and they all contribute to the soft guest cap. The drink stall contributes 15, the merry-go-round contributes 45, the pirate ship contributes 35, the junior coaster contributes 60, and the wooden coaster contributes 105. This gives us a soft guest cap of 260. This means that once we have more than 260 guests in the park, the guest generation will decrease by 75% and it will become much harder to get new guests. If the harder guest generation option is enabled, the calculation of the soft guest cap changes. First it is calculated like normal. Then if it is over 1000 it is lowered to 1000. Then the game checks all tracked rides again. If a tracked ride is at least 600 meters long and has an excitement rating of 6 or higher, then it contributes twice its normal value to the soft guest cap again. This may sound all a bit confusing and it certainly was for me when I first read about it, so let's do an example. Before we do that example, I want to thank Dirklink for doing the research on this. His guide to the guest generation is in the description. This is Southern Sands, a scenario from Loopy Landscapes that has the harder guest generation option enabled. I have built some rides and at the moment we have two 3D cinemas, two log flumes, one monorail, one looping coaster, one swinging suspended coaster, one wooden coaster, one compact inverted coaster and 10 junior coasters. This gives us a soft guest cap of 1250. Because this is more than 1000, it is lowered to 1000. Now, all tracked rides will be checked again for their length and excitement rating. There are 4 tracked rides in this park that are over 600 meters long and have over 6 excitement. The looping coaster, the wooden coaster, the compact inverted coaster and the swinging suspended coaster. Their values will now be added twice to our existing cap of 1000. So the wooden coaster will add 210, the looping coaster will add 190 and so on. This gives us a final soft guest cap of 1740. You may notice that this is quite a bit higher than the guest cap of 1250 that we would have had if the scenario had normal guest generation. If you only build rides that fulfill the 600 meters and 6 excitement requirements, then you will always end up with a higher soft guest cap. However, if you usually spam very small and efficient coasters, 
like I usually do, you will get stuck at 1000 guests. I haven't checked all scenarios myself, but according to rct.fandom.com, harder guest generation is used in 4 scenarios in RCT1 and 2 scenarios in RCT2. The ones in RCT1 where it is used are Frightmare Hills, Southern Sands, Nevermore Park and Venus Ponds. In RCT2 they are Alpine Adventures and Stone Age. I want to show you one more example where harder guest generation should actually be called easier guest generation. Let's say we have Forest Frontiers, but to make it a bit more difficult for ourselves, we have enabled the harder guest generation option. What we have actually done is make it easier. If we build a single wooden coaster that is over 6 excitement and is over 600 meters long, we get 3 times the normal guest cap. First, the normal guest cap is calculated, which is 105, and then the wooden coaster contributes again, this time with twice its value. This leaves us with a total soft guest cap of 315, with just a single ride, which is kind of ridiculous. There are two more questions we need to answer. What about rides with multiple stations, and what about advertising? If a ride has multiple stations, its length is divided into multiple sections. For the ride to count as being over 600 meters long, an individual section has to be at least 600 meters long. This means that a ride with two sections of 400 meters does not count, even though its total length is 800 meters. Advertising is also quite simple, as it ignores the soft cast cap entirely and has its own guest generation algorithm. If you constantly run all ad campaigns, the majority of the guests that are spawning will be from those ads, so you don't notice much difference between normal and harder guest generation. In the thumbnail I asked the question if harder guest generation should actually be called easier guest generation. I conclude that if you know what harder guest generation does, then yes, it can certainly make it easier. However, if you don't know what it does, or you are in a scenario where it's very difficult to build rides that are long and exciting enough, harder guest generation can definitely make your life a whole lot more difficult, especially if advertising is forbidden. That was it for this video. Let me know in the comments which other mechanic you want me to explain. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.